Arrow on Market is as Los Angeles as it gets. And as soon as you're inside, it feels like you stepped into Instagram itself. From its insanely aesthetic aisles to its pricey packed shelves. I feel like I can't even afford to pick up this box. You don't even know where to start. And all of a sudden, you're buying things you never even knew existed. Like sea moss, glow nuts, beauty water, unicorn tears, and immune elixir. With products having a longer list of ingredients telling you what's not in them than what is. No, nothing. <laughs> what is it made out of? But wait, there's more. Erewhon is also a celebrity hotspot, and the cafe even includes celeb collabs, like Emma Chamberlain's cold brew coffee for $19, or Hailey Bieber's skin smoothie for $18. But before I buy the most expensive smoothie of my life, and try a few interesting goodies, oh, oh. I'm gonna show you the surprising prices of everyday products, and the crazy cost of some other bougie creations that this luxury supermarket has to offer. And today, Today, one of my best friends, who is an occasional Erewhon shopper, is showing me around America's most expensive grocery store. Subscribe to follow my adventures across Italy, South Africa, and America. Wow. I want to see how much these eggs are. Apparently there's like a huge egg problem in this country. The eggs here are seven bucks. Fourteen dollars. Oh, it has the logo on it. I feel like I can't even afford to pick up this box. $14 for how much? How many eggs is that? 12? Oh, it's 12. Oh, 12 yes. eggs. Oh, they're so pretty. And then these other 12 packs are also running around 13 bucks. $10, $9. I'm interested in the dog food that they have. The dog food? Grain and gluten free. These dogs are eating good. Dogs of LA. Oh, they have bison burger jerky? $15. Ooh, they've got organic pet food, what is that, organic pumpkin, sweet potato, organic turkey and liver. This paper saves trees. Oh my God, even this toilet paper, it's 100% bam, bamboo, cloud paper. Even this, the packaging is paper. BPA free, tree free, septic safe. That's crazy. How much, oh, <laughs> it's only $20 for 12 rolls. This looks like it's made out of everything recyclable. Unbleached, interesting, that's why it's brown. Five bucks a roll. Aesthetically, I don't know how I feel about using brown paper towels, but you know. This is a paper loaf pan for nine bucks. Yeah. Oh, we got gnocchi. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's almond flour, though. It's not even oh, like almond flour. flour. This is 340 grams for 13 bucks. You've got Sweet potato gnocchi as well. These are all around 13. Cheese pizza. These are all almond flour crust. This one cheese pizza is 312 grams for $14. $13 for this Italian sausage one. Organic cauliflower and cheese ravioli for 13. You get some gluten-free burritos here for like 550. Plant-based patties for eight. <laughs> no bull. Two patties for eight bucks. Oh, they've got dog food in here. Clean chicken and quinoa. That's so fancy. Gluten-free bagels for 15 bucks. There's only like four in here. Yes. Chamberlain coffee. I actually want to get this for Mateo and I to try. So this 12 ounce bag is normally $19, but it's on sale right now for 15. Fancy mouse espresso blend. We'll give that a try. Oh, they have Illy coffee here. So Illy is obviously huge in Italy. So for this, 250 gram jar, you're looking at 20 bucks, so it's definitely way more than it would be. Erewhon, 12 ounces, $22. Got We're Wild not. West honey, yeah, yeah, thank you. $19. Mateo would absolutely love this stuff. He's obsessed with honey, but I just can't afford to get him a $26 jar. <laughs> Hazelnut spread, is this supposed to, this is probably like, what, healthy Nutella, I'm assuming? So this tiny jar is 18 Lovely bucks. Bad oils yeah, so Nutella. this is all healthy. <laughs> It doesn't have all the vegetable oils that they have in Nutella. It has less sugar too. That's good, and for the low, low price of $18. <laughs> Local raw honey. Okay, this one's a bit cheaper. This one's $12. How cute are these? Little raspberries for 17 bucks. Wow, is that real honeycomb? Oh my goodness. That is real hun raw honeycomb for 27 bucks. Pistachio butter. Something else Mateo would absolutely love. It's 20 bucks. Bamboo whisk. This is 26 bucks. What is this? It's matcha? Yeah. Interesting. Well, it's 26 bucks. Have you have matcha for the first time in your life? Yes. This guy introduced me to matcha lattes for the first time last week. So, pretty 
get? They have keto ice cream. Sea salt caramel keto ice cream for eight bucks. Dream pop. Ooh, these are like bites. So mint chip. These are all around eight dollars. All of these are gluten free for like nine dollars a loaf. There's a lot of keto stuff here. Raw vegan creamy garlic. Plant-based prosciutto. But it's a plant-based soy-free prosciutto style, I guess. Prosciutto style for eight bucks. What is this? Oh, this is soup. Butternut soup for $15.50. Kale and vegetable soup. I feel like I'm in an Instagram now. It's like down every aisle. I just I feel like I'm in I'm inside Instagram itself right now. <laughs> Actually, I've tried this. Six Pretty good. Yeah. Which one is uh, this? Just the, heat it up, yeah. the lentil one or the kale one? Kale one. Don't miss the bone broth mixer. Oh, it's Not only <laughs> it's only twenty four dollars. What do you do with bone broth? Bone bone broth elixir. Embark on this healing journey with us. I can't afford to at twenty four dollars. <laughs> Some people have it as a replacement for coffee, by the way. Oh, it's really? This one's medicinal radiant. $15 for this jar. Looks really healthy, I'm not gonna lie. And you can return the jars for a deposit, it says. Oh, uh, isn't there the water that you like here? Yeah, the beach kids are on. So, where did you have this water? So, I tried this water in uh, Spain and Barcelona. I really liked it. I couldn't find it in the US. And to my surprise, I was able to. I found it here by accident. It's a little cheaper in Barcelona than it is here. <laughs> but you're, you're paying for the shipping and you know, this thing getting on a boat or a airplane. <laughs> Vichy Catalan, try it. It's a, it's a bit salty, it's a acquired taste, but I, I, I really like it with a little drop of lemon. With a little drop of lemon? Yeah. Yeah? Or so lemon. it's how much? It's five bucks a bottle here. For yeah, a... as opposed to a euro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they also have like your Pellegrinos, so bottle of Pellegrino is $3.29. What is this? This is, I've never even seen this brand before, but it's $14 a bottle. Nano Pure Restructured Hyper Antioxidant. This is the of you. Like you drink it, you just get five years younger. <laughs> Perfect, then it's worth the price tag, I guess. Oh wow, that is a lot of writing, $7. So do we. I feel like this, yeah, I feel like this would be very uncomfortable to hold. It's very large. This one, yeah, water. I tried this a couple years ago and I actually hated drinking water from a carton. It bothered me so much. The box just gets wet and you're just drinking from it and it just starts, it's like drinking out of a paper straw. You know how like uncomfortable it gets after a few sips? Yeah, that's basically this experience in a box. These Erewhon waters are three bucks. I am so surprised to see brands I recognize in this store. I legitimately thought I wouldn't recognize like any brand here, but uh, good to know that there's still some things I know. It's two bucks for this, not bad. Check out the meats though. Look how nice the package this is. Lamb rack grass-fed New Zealand. Oh my goodness. I don't want to touch it. New All the way from New Zealand. It looks good. It does. $30 for this top sirloin piece of steak. Let's see, 16 ounces for 30 bucks. This one's 53. What is this? Organic filet. It's grass yeah, fed. grass fed. Wagyu. 30 bucks for 16 ounces. Wagyu skirt, you're looking at 33. And then they've got their organic ground beef, 14 bucks for 16 ounces. So that's like a pound. This is only 11 for the, for the Wagyu ground beef. That's a pound of meat. And they've got all their organic chicken, 18 bucks. Fermented garlic, $43. Avocado oil, 24 bucks. Walnuts, pistachios, uh, almonds, all the different nuts, macadamia nuts. $16. Oh, 11 for the walnuts, okay. And you get the jar. And you get the jar. I was just thinking that. I was like, oh, well, you also get to keep the jar, so that's not that's not too bad. This one's pretty. That's like a whole mix. You want to get it? 13 bucks. No, that's okay. So this is an eight ounce jar for 10 bucks. To be fair, nuts in general are always expensive, so I guess that's not terrible. This is the bougiest trail mix I've ever seen. A photo, not a window. We got creative with the container, though. Proud to be plastic free. I love that. So they just put the picture there for you. I mean, it's still $9 for this, not even four ounces, but it's gluten-free, vegan, and paleo. Oh wait, I think it's here. Oh, yes. Yay. Oh, these are so good. They're raw zatar crackers. 
Wow, this is a very Middle Eastern cart right now. We got the hummus, we've got the zaatar, <laughs> and the coffee. So that's nine bucks, four ounces. And then if you're into kale, these are a great snack. Very California, 3.8 ounces for eight bucks. I might get these just to try them. Compostable packaging. Wow, these package, the packaging here is like insane. It feels so, so different, but nice. Like very smooth. Why do I feel like this bag is mostly air? <laughs> well, How so much it is it? Break, right? I don't see a price. These are normally six bucks, but they're on sale for five. So when they created this store, they purposely made the aisles really tight and high. They said it builds community. They wanted people to interact with each other and for the staff to mingle with the customer. So it's actually done on purpose, which is pretty creative, I guess. Makes you feel like you're hanging out with the other shoppers. I think most people that shop here shop every day rather than like come here once a week and then get a bunch of stuff. They just just come here every day and yeah. pick a few items, which is more similar to what people do in Europe. I was just gonna say that, yeah. Less so American. so in Europe, I mean, we go, to the, we go to the grocery store multiple times a week because the produce is just so fresh. So it's the same thing here. I mean, you're just paying 10 times <laughs> the amount. <laughs> and you shop a little bit every day rather than a lot once a month. Exactly. So. It is healthier. I mean, you know that this stuff is organic. And this, and this place is also fun. Like, I like coming here just to look at the variety. I always find something new that I've never seen before here. And uh, you get to try something new and different. Yeah. Yeah. Like those Zato crackers. <laughs> Zato crackers. I'm actually addicted to those. I tried them once. I thought they were going to be bad because. They look um, really healthy, to be fair. They don't look like they taste good. Yeah, but, but they I'm, actually do. But I'm Lebanese, and anything that says Zatar on it that's not made in Lebanon, I sort of like look at with some doubt, you know, but these were actually good. Yeah, so there's a lot of crackers here. I mean, a lot of these are made with almond flour. I'm noticing almond flour, a huge trend in, in stuff, like the pizzas in the fridge and stuff. Yeah. These are made, these are six, seven bucks. But expensive alternative to gluten. Is it? And, and uh, regular flour. These boxes, I mean, these aren't very big. They're about five bucks. Let's see, lentil chips. That's I interesting. <laughs> five fifty. Ooh, these look really nice. These are vegan. Chile and lime potato chips, six bucks, made with avocado oil. They've got quite the variety here. Jalapeno lime, nacho, grain-free snickerdoodle. These are no sugar added and paleo. No sugar added, no cane, no sugar, no stevia, no gluten, no dairy, no soy, no refined starch. No nothing. No nothing. <laughs> what is it made out of? More keto cookies. I mean, these bags are so small. This is. What do you do with this? Like this is just, just enough for like half a person. Six bucks. This place is like a sensory overload because all the, like I don't recognize any of the brands and even the ingredients, like what I'm reading on the bag. It's like every time I'm looking at some a, a different product, it's like a whole new experience. <laughs> Black truffle masala popcorn. So that's 650. Goji berries, this, this pack is 20 bucks for eight ounces. These are from Coachella Valley. 20 bucks. So another reason that the prices are more than you'd find your average grocery store is because they heavily work with local producers. So a lot of these are actually from California itself. They try to work with local producers and farmers and things like that. So this stuff has a very short shelf life. Again, this is why you have to shop more frequently than you would at a normal store because the stuff does go off, but you trust that it's really fresh and organic and really good for you. Another trend now, a lot of people who like beef jerky, <gasps> They don't want it to have sugar in it. This is bulltong? Yeah. You're joking. Oh my god. This is a South African thing. Really? Yes, I promise you. So in South Africa, bulltong is the beef jerky. Like, oh my god, that's crazy. Mateo, look what we found. Oh my god, we actually have to get. Oh my god, why is it $14? It's $14 for this pretty. tiny little thing. Yeah, no, in South Africa, it, they only do bull tongue. Like, you go in and they're like, the meat is hanging and they cut it for you fresh. Yeah. Like, it's insane. That's wild. They have spiced, original. Oh my goodness. Brooklyn bull tongue. What about this one? Look at that. Hickory seasoned beef bull tongue. Even the packaging, it's like beautiful and it feels so good. 14 bucks for two ounces. This it's one's 10 bucks. This one's 10. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe we'll try one of these. Spicy peri peri original. Okay, we'll try this one. 
And they have boss. Oh my god. That's wild. South Africans make fun of Americans because full time's way better than beef jerky. I can't believe we just found that. Oh, the sea moss. Oh it's, yeah. It's good. I like, I don't know what it does, but so, I just have a spoon in the morning. Do you just eat it by itself or do you put it in something? I think you can put it in a shake, but I've just been eating it by itself. Once I'm done with this, I'm curious to try the blue one. So what does it taste like? Mother Earth. That's the, is it like minty? It's like really watered down mint. A really watered down mint. What is it like the consistency? Is it squishy? Very squishy. It's very squishy when you eat it. But there's different, all of these different sea mosses. So for this 16 ounce jar, it's 36 bucks. Some of these are 40. This cosmic berry one looks so good. And then you've got little probiotic shots for five bucks. Interesting. This is $18. Organic Caramel juice. We missed something. Have you seen the sea moss? Oh, what? It looks like a loofah. I think it's edible. I mean, it must be. It's 20 bucks. You have to soak it before you can eat it. Rinse, soak, and blend into a creamy gel consistency. Okay, I don't even know what to do with this. You can get eight ounces of chickpea pasta for six bucks. Organic penne is also about six. Wow, this, they really do have chickpea pasta. Six bucks. Good. What are these? These are organic spaghetti. So this is keto. That's actually not, but five bucks, I feel like I was expecting that to be more. They actually do have mayo here. It's organic for eight bucks. Huh? Have you seen this brand before? Everything has truffle in it. It's a hot sauce, it's called truffle. Oh, does it actually have truffle in it? it I truffle. thought it was truffle, but this is hot sauce. White truffle infused, oh my goodness. Black truffle. Oh, this jar is $40 for six ounces. But that, I mean, it sounds amazing. And this one's 18 for the black truffle. White truffle infused, also 40 bucks. That's a nice jar though. This mayonnaise, they have like avocado oil. 12 right, ounces, right 355 mills vegan mayo i wonder if this tastes good these are all 10 11 bucks you've tried, tried this one's good yeah. oh this one sounds good chipotle yes. lime both, 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 both. oh since when does heinz do organic ketchup so the heinz organic is six i'm honestly wildly impressed with the condiment section mushroom jerky too. mushroom jerky how do they even do that i feel like that would just be dry mushrooms well this is written in italian so you know it's good <laughs> oh how cute some of these are like Ready to go. This is 28 bucks for a baby charcuterie board. They have this smaller one, 16 bucks for the small one. You can get unicorn tears for five bucks with CBD, sparkling water, vintage cola for three bucks. 16 ounces for 12 bucks. Got dragon fruit, mango turmeric, watermelon cucumber, sparkling apple cider vinegar, CBD black cherry, sparkling water, $5 a can. What do we got? It's only for babes. Only for babes? Kombucha, nice. Oh my goodness, this bunny looks like he's jacked up on something. Hard kombucha for nine bucks for a can. There is a lot of kombucha here. It's all run around 450. What do we got here? Ooh, they have pita bread. Organic unbleached flour. Organic whole wheat. Filtered water, sea salt, yeast. Organic olive oil. So it's six fifty for six. Oh, so it's like about a dollar a piece. Yeah. They have keto blueberry muffins. A four pack of these tiny muffins is thirteen fifty. What's doughy? It says vegan chocolate chip cookie dough, gluten free, plant based, grain free. Enjoy raw or baked. That's fifteen bucks. Oh, they have a lot of this stuff. Vegan marshmallow brownie. The plain Arrowan bagels for a four pack. It's fifteen dollars. Four bagels for fifteen dollars. Ooh, chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm assuming this is yeah. So this is also gluten free, plant based, grain free, unrefined, sugar free, and paleo for twenty bucks. And this healthy nut butter is thirty. What's a glow nut? Wow, that is a small box. Powdered donuts, eight dollars for three, three of these. Gluten-free and vegan and raw. It's only like 10.30 right now, so they're gonna start firing up the pizza oven to make lunch, because apparently this place has a very solid food list, food menu. 
Apparently it's delicious. I mean, look at that. This stuff, organic beet arugula salad, it's 18 per pound. 19 per pound for organic spinach. Oh my goodness. That looks delicious. Yeah, all of this stuff sits around 18, 19 a pound. Vegan pad Thai kelp noodles is 21 per pound. Then you got organic Asian tofu sticks, 18 a pound. That's vegan and gluten free for both dishes. Oh, this stuff looks so fresh. Organic strawberry crumble, 9.50 a slice. This organic super green is $12.50 for this piece of toast. And then there's avocado egg for $13.50. And then another avocado toast for $12.50. And they even have a little soup station here. Ooh, that looks good. For the different sizes, you're looking at five, nine, and 15. Vegan protein bar for 10 bucks. These are really good. What is that? Keto peanut butter caramel chocolate. Mm, that's $17 for this four pack. This is $15 for a raw strawberries and cream piece of cake. That seems very excessive. Yeah, these are all 15. That is a very small piece of dessert. This little squirrel, awesome morsels for 14 bucks. They're not messing around in this aisle. This is a vegan donut. That's crazy. Okay, that's really cute actually. These are all vegan and gluten free, 15 bucks. They've got this raw strawberry pie. This is 11 bucks for this one slice. Banana cream pie. That's 10.50 for this slice. What'd you get? The super green frittata. That looks so good. That was so fast. That looks delicious. Yeah, these chocolate bars are like seven bucks. But it's crazy. Like they're all vegan, paleo. This one says the big logo. <laughs> Interesting. For only ten dollars. That's wild. Oh, this one says stay sane. Anything good? <laughs> I've never tried this before. I might get it for my wife though. <laughs> well, she's about to have a baby, so maybe you give her one of these. <laughs> Maybe you give her stay sane. <laughs> and then Erewhon's organic chocolate is seven bucks for 60 grams. <laughs> that is tiny. The Erewhon candles are 50 bucks. Now it's smoothie time. Hi. Hi, how are you? Um, can I do the Haley Bieber smoothie, please? 34. Thank you so much, I appreciate yeah. it. Have a good one. I really wanted to get the Emma Chamberlain cold brew, but maybe next time. We got our croissants, now we're just waiting for our drinks. It is getting much busier now, but it's almost lunchtime. And we got the goods. We're gonna sit outside and try everything right now. It only costs a million dollars. Yeah, all this stuff minus the croissants. Minus the croissants was $91. $91. $91. Yeah. <laughs> for, the, for the five things we picked up. <laughs> Thank you so much. They literally have like a whole kitchen back here making the food. Let's go! So I got the Haley Bieber skin smoothing. I don't even know. I'm gonna all write what's in it on the screen right now. It was $18. $18 for a smoothie. The day was gonna kill me. But while we're here, YOLO, you know? Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, that's really good. I don't think it's worth $18, but you know, what are you gonna do? Are you, are you tagging me on the gram? It's like, Inception. This is inside a video, inside a video. Whoa! <laughs> Who's the filmmaker? You're pretty good. Yeah, I'm doing the whole behind the scenes. Yeah. And this is the BTS of this shoot. Wow, I look so cool next to the water. And then this is the video. The water sales went through the roof since I made this video. <laughs> He's making me feel much cooler than I am. I got the chocolate croissant. He went out of his way to put the sticker on the bag, which I thought was fun. I was literally about to take the croissant, and he's like, wait, your sticker. <laughs> That's cool. My one souvenir, I'll just cut that part out of the bag. And I guess I'll just save this cup forever. And it'll be the most expensive smoothie I ever bought. So apparently there's a bunch of like antioxidants, collagen. Oh, there's sea moss in this. I tried to read the list of ingredients. It was, um, it was a lot, but 
the 18 bucks definitely could could be attributed to all of the healthy stuff that's in there like the collagen the sea moss and a bunch of other stuff yeah mostly tastes like banana aesthetically pleasing to the eye I'm not gonna lie it is very pretty so 18 dollars is the most healthy smoothie i've ever had and the most expensive smoothie i've ever had it's the Haley Bieber smoothie. Oh, I met Justin oh, wow. Bieber in Rome when I was studying abroad really? at this Irish pub called Scholars. It was crazy. He was there with his dad and security guard. And we actually talked to him for a minute until everyone figured out he was there. Chocolate for someone's not bad. It's pretty good. Very flaky. Yay, napkins. Oh, what is that little frittata? It's a super green frittata. I don't even know. <laughs> What does that even mean? That looks incredibly green. It definitely looks good for you. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't taste good, is the question. Oh, it has like a broccoli in the middle of it. Is Doughy. it like dense? <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Feels like I'm eating a vegetable. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. <laughs> it's like a green omelet. Yeah. Would you get it again? If I want to be healthy, yeah. I would. <laughs> Not if you want to enjoy the meal. No. <laughs> Now that I got to the chocolate part of this croissant, it's actually divine. Whatever chocolate they put in here is insanely good. It's so creamy, delicious. Now it's time to go through our so Christmas you treats. Out? <laughs> yeah. It's like the bag that keeps on giving. Everything on this table right now, minus the coffee. This costs $91. This costs <laughs> 91 bucks for these six items. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry, eight items. All right, so let's see. We can try a few of these. These are the three that we're trying today. To be fair, we've had these before and they're delicious. I'm really curious about this. Oh, look at that. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Even better than I remember. Those are really good. So zatar is a Middle Eastern, um, what is it? No, not spice, like an herb. What would you classify it as? It's like an herb that you kind of turn into a paste. Yes, so you mix it, so normally when it's dry, you mix it with olive oil and you'll put it on like pita bread or, I mean, you can even eat it dry on stuff. Mm. It's my favorite. My mom, I think I love it so much because my mom said that that's what she ate when she was pregnant with me like all the time. So mm. I like love zatar. These are, these are delicious. Where are we doing? This one? These definitely feel worth it to me. Bolton. Oh, Mateo would be so proud of us right now. Look at that. Oh, that actually looks pretty damn close. In South Africa, when you go into the markets to get Bolton, the meat's literally hanging on a hook behind like the cash register, and you'll tell them what you want. And it goes by wetness. It goes from the most wet to like more dry. So normally the best ones are pretty moist in the middle still. This is decent. This is like a middle one. Mm. You almost see light through it. Yeah. It's like really thin. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That's that's pretty damn close. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. This one has a kick to it. We got the spicy peri peri one. That kick definitely comes in out. It takes a few seconds, mm. yeah. It's got a really nice color to it. It's definitely drier. I actually prefer the bolts on a little bit more wet. And it's more moist. This Maybe one's that's definitely on the got dryer. The, we got the cheapest one. <laughs> yeah, we only spent what ten dollars on this. What this was, was eleven. This was eleven. Should have gotten the, the fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollar one. one. <laughs> that's like a sin. Tells me like, why'd you spend that much on bolton? If you ever go to South Africa, you can get a whole packet of bolton for like three dollars USD. Mmm, this is so good. It's definitely better than jerky. You like it? I like it. Yeah. yeah. When you come visit us in South Africa, I'll get you. I'll definitely try it. I want stuff. to see that market you're talking mm. about. I love meat. Mm. Okay, did they actually get this from South Africa? They do it here. Oh, it's even in the centuries old South African tradition. When oh, I it's made in the US. Okay, snack I'll number three. It's like dried up wheat. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah. What is it again? Oh, it's from, it says, is that from Parma? It says Parma. It says Parma. I wonder if it's actually from Parma. Oh no, it's made in California. Oh, it's Parma kale. That makes sense. Although there is a giant reel of Parmigiano Oreggiano as the photo, so that's a little bit confusing. It's raw and vegan. They had a taco flavored one and they had a pizza flavored one and this is the Parma. Really? I don't know why it could fit, but it does it does look like something you would buy from a dispensary. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, right? that's, I legitimately thought that's what it was. Look at this slice. Mm. Whoa. That's that is oh. That is not pleasant to eat. You don't like it? The consistency and the taste are exactly how it looks. It's kind of impossible to eat without making a mess. But it's it's just as like crunchy and crispy and like hard. I feel like I'm I'm eating dry dry leaves. Mm. Mm. I don't love it. You're not obsessed? No. So <laughs> do you like it? I mean. Oh. 
This is something you eat to fill your stomach with volume when you're like on a crash diet. <laughs> when you and need to lose three pounds. Three, when you need to lose 50 pounds. I mean like, like, it's just so hard. Certainly like a crispy, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy we tried it. It's definitely interesting. I just would not get it again. Look at the splash zone here. I mean, you can't even eat this without, without, I mean, one bite and it's like, Splash Mountain. Is it actually seasoned with like cheese? Is that why the cheese is on the photo? Because that's definitely something. So maybe it's seasoned. Well, it says it's vegan, so. Vegan Parmigiano Reggiano, which <laughs> is impossible. Uh, it's like eating a, dr a dry leaf. Very unsatisfying. So out of these three, which one's number one, two, mm. and three? This one's definitely number three. That's definitely number three. Please okay. excuse the mess. Mm, I mean, the Zatar cracker is definitely number one. The bull tongue's really good. This may have been number one if I didn't know what actual bull tongue tasted like because the, I mean the peri peri flavor too is definitely the way to go. They had a few but that has a nice spice to it. And then yeah, those this doesn't even make the list. <laughs> what What is your ranking? I think I agree with you. Yeah, yeah good, solid, right? And then you've got your bougie little water. I love the, I love the bottle of this. It's like yeah, so nice Yeah, Spain they have like a small version of it too. They have like mm. mini ones so you can buy it at the Oh, we're gonna need a little vacuum for that. I'm gonna just gonna wash down those chips with my... <laughs> with some collagen and sea moss. I'm washing down the oh, kale with some try collagen a and piece sea of the moss. Bread? Mm. I'm actually kind of full. Go for it. So this was this was one. twelve bucks for a little loaf. Oh like yeah, I'll take a piece. Let's see. Here you go. Thank you. What do we think? Well, I think it looks good. First of all, yeah, I like it. I wish I had butter. Oh, but it would have been vegan good, butter. Yeah. <laughs> Who are we? Hmm. I've never been a fan of like fruitcakes or like fruits and fries. To be fair, I don't love this, but it, it comes above those kale chips. So mm -hmm. as much as I don't like raisins and dried fruit, this actually beats the kale chips. At least it's soft. Like it's pretty, pretty good to bite into. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounded like a hateful speech. <laughs> I don't love fruitcakes. 